Hi, YouTube. This is crazy. My name is Jessica Bloomfield and I am obsessed with makeup and I have been for most of my adult life. For the longest time, I said, you know what? I'm gonna start a YouTube channel. I was like, I'm gonna do it. I love watching beauty bloggers, vloggers, YouTubers. I was like, that's what I love to do. I love to collect makeup. I love to try on makeup. COVID happened and I thought, you know what? There's no better time. So I started planning how to create a YouTube channel and it's actually not that difficult. You basically just need the right equipment, which I collected over the past few months. My amazing husband bought me my Canon for our anniversary. And as far as the makeup goes, I am constantly collecting makeup. It is my passion. I love makeup so much. Honestly, I have so much to say about just the product reviews that I do for myself and for my friends and for my family. I test out so many different products. And I'm always telling people my reviews. I'm always giving people advice on like, you should try this or you shouldn't try that or whatever. And I, all of my friends and family for the longest time were like, you need to start a YouTube channel. And it wasn't until COVID that I thought, you know what, I'm never gonna do this. I'm gonna keep pushing it off and I'm never gonna do it unless I do it now. But I've pulled off this awesome setup. I wish I could take the camera off of the tripod and show you my light setup, my computer, everything. I have this whole crazy desk under me that has tons of makeup on it, reflectors, it's, it's insane. I told all my friends and family that I was doing this channel for me as a hobby, something fun that I can do in my spare time when I just wanna like sit down and play with makeup and talk about makeup. If I can help five people online who were interested in purchasing a product and they watched my video and took away enough information to make an informed decision, that's enough for me. I just wanna talk about makeup. That's all I ever wanna do. And in my free time, I already, that's all I do. I was thinking about it and I was like, you know what? I could start my YouTube channel. This might just be the perfect time for me to get organized, research what I need, all the equipment, everything that I need to start a channel. Um, and I might only have five people watching this video, but that's okay with me. At the end of the day, if I could help those five people have more of an understanding of a product or just learn about some of my favorites, then it's totally worth it. So without further ado, I wanted to do a video on one of my all-time favorite makeup products that I have so many of. I've tried so many of these. That would be face palettes. So palettes that include, you know, blush, bronzer, highlight, but basically face palettes are like one of my favorite makeup items. So I wanna start with my absolute favorite. And this one, you know, I didn't hear a lot of hype on it, but it is one of the best face palettes ever. Highly recommend it. It is the Smashbox, the Cali Contour. So this puppy right here, it is amazing. I mean, seriously, it is lovely. You've got an awesome warm bronzer. You have a beautiful, neutral, very natural blush. You have a highlight right here. You have another kind of deeper highlight right here. And then over here is a matte highlight shade. Above that is a cooler contour. I probably use this the most out of all of my face palettes. I find that it's the most versatile and it just pulls off a beautiful natural look so effortlessly that I reach for this more than I reach for a lot of my other face palettes. It's awesome. The middle highlight shades, the top one is a little bit dark for me, for my skin tone. I can pull it off and I do wear it and I do like it, but this bottom highlight shade is a bit deep for my skin tone. So if you're someone who has um, very fair skin, honestly, if it's fairer than mine, you probably can't even pull off that top highlight. But I think the palette is totally worth it for just these two shades over here and the other shades on the other side. Fantastic. So what I've done today is I have a basic base on my face, but I thought today as we go, I could dip into some of my favorite shades from some of these different palettes and we could show you how they perform a bit highly recommend. So for this one, what I love to do, one of my favorite looks is a light lid shade because my brow bone kind of comes down and covers a bit of my lid. So I like to really lighten up my lid. So I will go in with this on my lid. So what I like to do is I literally go in with my finger and it comes with a great mirror on the back. And I will literally place 
place that on my lid just to brighten everything up just like that and just with that little step my eye look looks so much brighter than before I love it I will also use this palette to take my Sigma Duo Fiber F50 brush, which is a fantastic contour and bronzer brush. Um, I'll dip into a bit of the cooler contour shade. And this is what I will use to add a bit more structure and chisel to my face. It is so beautiful. Highly recommend, sorry, blocking my face. It's gonna get I have to get used to this whole filming situation. I mean, seriously, the contour is lovely. It just gives my face so much more definition than what I started with. Um, I use other products to add warmth. That's just good for chiseling out my cheekbones and giving some structure to my forehead and my jawline. While we're on the topic of great contour and bronzer palettes, I'm telling you guys, this one is such a steal. It is a great deal. I think I got this for like $20 during a Tarte sale, but this is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzer and highlight palette. The packaging also is just so heavy. It's got this beautiful like alligator print inlay. I just love the look of this. It's so heavy. Look at this. We have a great range of um, bronzers, contours, and then these both over here are matte highlights, and they're beautiful for my skin tone. I love this, and I think it's also very versatile because a lot of different skin tones can use this and totally get away with it. I can hold this up. Over here, you have more of a like a bronzer that has fine particles of glitter in it, so more of like a shimmery bronzer. Right here, we have a warm tone matte bronzer. Then here is more of like a cool tone contour matte bronzer. This shade is also a shimmer bronzer. It's a different tone than this first one. So you get an awesome array of four fantastic bronzers, one of which acts like a contour. And then these last two are my favorite. So they're the matte highlight shades, kind of like what I showed you in the Smashbox Cali Contour. I love using these to brighten up my under eyes. I love to use them on my eyelid as eyeshadows to really brighten up your look. And then I'll also use these to actually chisel out my jaw. A trick that I have, I am not one who really loves to bake, but when I do bake, I bake my jaw. I find that it just chisels out my contour in such a beautiful way, but it takes a while, it's messy, and I just am not always up to do it. So what I will do sometimes, it's easy and it gives the same effect, is I will dip in to these light shades right here. And I'll just kind of go like this, back and forth, back and forth. And what I'll do, is go right under my contour. Just like that. And all that does is it just illuminates my jawline and it just really emphasizes that shadow that I added with the contour. So I love this trick, I just dip, 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 dip. jaw. Oh my god, it's just a great effect. It's so simple. It makes all the difference. And then I'll also, like I said, I'll take those two shades and I'll go right under my eye. I mean, seriously, it brightens up the under eye so much. I mean, it just added a little extra lightness. Guilty pleasure. I love makeup that smells like vanilla. This smells like this delicious blend of vanilla and cocoa. I'm obsessed with it. Love this palette, highly recommend it. And again, for the price, amazing. So one of my favorite lines, which I probably will do another video on because I just, I can't shut up about this line. I think it's the best line Too Faced has come out with. I just love it, is the Too Faced Natural Face line. The Natural Face Palette. It is the Highlight Blush and Bronzing Veil Face Palette. Go buy this, go buy this. If you can find it, go buy this. I love this. So here we have this beautiful 
highlight called Starlight. It's like an iridescent pink situation. It's beautiful. Underneath that is a highlight called Satin Sheets. It is almost more of like a champagne golden situation. Stunning. Then we have a Barbie pink blush. In the pan, it looks really intimidating and really pink, but when you put it on your face, it is the most beautiful flush of just like that Barbie pink. It looks so youthful. But my favorite one, my favorite blush in this palette is Pink Sands right here. This mauve natural, awesome tone that you can actually use on someone if you're my skin tone. You can use this to create kind of like a, almost like a flushed sunburn look across your nose and on your cheekbones. I'll probably dip into that today because I don't have any blush on my face right now. So I'll show you how it performs. It's so beautiful. Then up here, we have a beautiful, beautiful warm bronzer called Sunny Honey. So beautiful. It's very warm, which I usually don't gravitate towards, but I think if you wanna look like you have that beautiful sun-kissed look and really bring out the color in your eyes, Sunny Honey is beautiful. Underneath that is Tropic Like It's Hot, super cute. It is a very deep shimmery bronzer that almost has like a mauve undertone to it. So it almost looks like a blush, but it is a bronzer. Not to be super predictable, but I, like I said, I am. Oh my God, it smells like dessert. It is so delicious. I mean, seriously, I wanna just, I just wanna take a bite out of this. Delicious. Highly recommend this. So why don't we dip into the blush? I think we're gonna do Pink Sands with just this more natural looking blush. I kinda of wanna show you how I can pull off a really beautiful sun-kissed look across my nose and on my cheeks. So I will dip in there. Start with my cheeks. I just kind of dab it up my face. That's how I like to put on blush. And we'll do the other cheek. Already, that brought so much warmth and life to my face. Now let's add a bit across the nose to give that kind of sun-kissed, sunburnt situation. So I don't know if you can see this because the lights are pretty bright, but it added just the most beautiful flush of color to my cheeks and to over top my nose. And this color, like I said, it really helps bring the green out in my eyes. And it just adds so much warmth to my face and so much life. I kind of dab it all over my face. So I highly recommend this one, guys. Definitely check this out. Next up on my list is the Becca Jaclyn Hill, what is this called? Champagne Collection Face Palette. This one is an oldie but a goodie. I don't know if you can see the packaging. It is so stunning. It's, ugh, I love the packaging. Becca has fantastic packaging. You open it up, you have a fantastic mirror and you have just these beautiful shades. Up here, we have a shimmery, kind of like a rosy, almost like a duo chrome sort of situation, but it is just the most beautiful champagne-y, pink, metallic blush ever. So beautiful, love that one. Right here, we have a beautiful matte, almost like this sunburnt looking beautiful blush, which if you haven't noticed, and you will notice as we go, Blushes that make me look sunburnt are my absolute favorite. They're what I gravitate towards, and every time I see a new one come on the market, no matter how many I have, I will purchase it. Then over to the left of that, we have a really, really beautiful, almost like a pinky coral matte shade blush, again. And then what Becca is known for, and what Jaclyn's collaboration with Becca, I mean, everybody knows Champagne Pop. We have two beautiful highlighters down here. I mean, Becca makes some of the best highlighters on the market, period. Discussion over. <laughs> I mean, they're lovely. So I think because my face has contour, I have bronzer, I have blush, but I don't have any highlight, I really wanna dip into this highlight to show you how beautiful Becca's highlighters are. I think I'm gonna dip into Champagne Pop. how stunning this highlight is. It is so nice. Guys, obsession is real. I love that face people make when they're putting highlighter on. Can you see it? It is so stunning. You can kind of see the reflection there. 
I mean, it's lovely. See, it's just that perfect glow. It's nothing crazy, nothing chunky. Nothing that really draws too much attention to it. It's just this beautiful glow when the light hits it just right. You look seriously popping, like seriously. Your makeup goes from like, eh, to like, oh my God, like she is glowy. I die. Okay, so I have four more left. I'm gonna try to get through this as fast as I can because I do not want this video to be too long. After all, this is my first one, so I'm still trying to figure out how to do this. and. It's a learning process, I'm getting there. I definitely wanna tell you guys about these because with the holidays coming up, these are great gifts. And I think if you can get your hands on these, I know a few of them are still sold at Sephora. They're beautiful, they make beautiful gifts. Why don't we dive in really quickly to my Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palette. Natasha Denona's packaging, so beautiful. I mean, <laughs> If you're not gonna buy it because the makeup's bomb, the packaging itself is just so beautiful. It's just so heavy and sturdy and it's so big. It just makes for a lovely gift. This one I bought, I think I bought this on sale at Sephora. I wanna say I got it for like 50 bucks. And I think it retailed at one point for over $100. So this was definitely a win on my part. So it comes with this beautiful, kind of like a neutral looking diamond balm that is a beautiful highlight. Then we have the blush, which is a cream blush. We have a pink glow topper, which is also cream, but it goes on top of a blush beautifully. It's kind of a, one of those palettes where you look and you're like, I'm not quite sure how to use this, but once you learn how to use it, it's so beautiful. And I love that Natasha Denona puts these beautiful protective little pieces on top of the cream um, products in her palettes to protect them because one of the worst things about having a cream product in a palette like this is that sometimes when you get kick up and kick back from the powder products it'll go into the cream products and totally just ruin them honestly then down here we have the diamond powder highlight which is so different than the becca highlighters it is blinding it is glittery i feel like it's really hard to tell You can see some of those glitter particles. It's beautiful, but it's definitely got those thicker glitter chunks, which for me, I'm only ever trying to use that when I'm going for a really bold look or whether I'm doing like a Halloween look or something a little bit more out there. But for the day-to-day, -day, I definitely wouldn't dip into that. If anything in this palette, I would dip into this Glow Extreme highlighter right here, which is so nice here. It is right there. Just so nice. A little bit more subtle than the other one, a lot less chunky and glittery. And then you have the middle powder blush, which is very, very reminiscent of NARS Orgasm. Like it's pretty much the same shade. So if you have it, you know, maybe you buy this for the other shades in, in the palette. Highly recommend. Definitely snag this one if it's on sale, which I know Sephora sometimes does put it on sale definitely worth picking it up. Like I said, it's over a hundred dollar palette and sometimes it goes on sale for, I believe it's somewhere in like the 50 to $60 price range. Totally worth it. Next up is another Natasha Denona must have in my opinion, but then again, I am addicted and I do have a problem with collecting makeup. And anyways, in my point of view, definitely pick this one up. It is the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. Oh my God, it's kind of messy because obviously you can see I use this one a lot. You open it up and it's just like a smaller version of that last one that I just showed you. It's got beautiful two upper cream shades and then we have two powder shades on the bottom. Again, we have that awesome protective situation right here that protects the cream, it's so nice. So these top two shades are, this one is definitely a cream blush. This one is more of like a blush topper, it's cream. And then down here, you have this beautiful coral gold shimmery blush. Love this shade so much. And then to the right of it, you have an extreme highlight and like extreme glow situation going on here. Again, is this a very subtle highlight? No, but it's blinding, it's beautiful. It has this peachy, beautiful glow to it that really complements my skin tone. And one of the big um, question marks that a lot of people have with this palette is this really, really deep berry shade right here. A lot of people I think are intimidated by that shade because they think it's really, really deep, but it's really not when you apply it to the skin. You can blend it out so beautifully and so easily. And I put 
put a dot like that. Just rub it in lightly, nothing crazy. You can see it on my hand. It's just this beautiful flush of pink. And it's really nothing crazy, nothing too intimidating. And it does go well on my skin tone. So if you're even as light as I am, you can still pull that off, even if you don't think you can. All you have to do is blend it out. And one of the ways I love to do that, I could actually add some on my face right now, is I love the Duo Fiber brushes. This is my Sigma Duo Fiber Powder Brush, um, and or Powder Slash Blush Brush F15. This one is great, because it has those awesome Duo Fibers. So when I go into a shade like this, I will literally just dab like that, the littlest dab. and. I will work that into my face and it will add a little bit more vibrancy than the last blush that I used, but it's really natural and it's nothing that crazy. It's nothing to be too intimidated about. And I think just having a great duo fiber brush like what I have, you can work a color like this in so beautifully. Highly recommend this one. Okay, so the last palette that I'm gonna get into is the Glam Glow Glow palette. Now this one is a little bit different than all the others because when I originally bought this, I bought it just for the highlight shades. We have the most beautiful highlight shade here and we also have a beautiful more champagne shade next to it right here. So this one is more, this one right here is more of like an icy, um, almost has like a lilac undertone to it and then this one is that beautiful sort of champagne tone. But then this one over here, it's more like a bronzer for my skin. I thought, you know what, I'm just never going to dip into that because it's too deep for my skin tone. And it turns out it is a beautiful bronzer topper of all things. Sometimes what I will do is I will put on a matte bronzer and if I wanna just kind of zhuzh it up a bit and give it this beautiful glowy sort of shimmer like a little sheen on top, I will dip into this and I'll add it. So I'll do that now because I will just show you, it is so nice. I go in, right? And I will just add it on top of my bronzer. Like that. Just add it as like this lovely, this lovely sheen adds a glow to the face. I'll tap it on my nose. I'll kind of tap it all over my face to be honest with you. And it just adds the most beautiful, I'm just trying to see if you can pick it up in the finder. It is just the most lovely glow that you can put right on top of your matte bronzer. And then the two highlight shades here are stunning. So I'm going to swatch a few of these highlight shades for you. So first we'll go in with this light icy white shade probably see it right there, yeah. It has that beautiful lilac undertone, really icy and nice. And then if you're going for something a little bit less poppy and bright and blingy, we go with something more like this, which has like a lovely champagne undertone. So you can see it right there, right here. It's a very blinding shade. It has that lovely gold champagne-y undertone. It's so flattering on so many skin tones. So you guys, those are my favorite face palettes. There are a few others in my collection that I love as well, but I just felt like if I incorporated all of them, this video would be so long. And because it's my first one, I'm really trying not to drag it out too crazy. But yeah, these are some of my favorite face palettes. I think if you buy any of these, you will be happy with them. I, again, am so excited to start this journey and to be able to film YouTube videos talking about what I love, which is makeup, and giving you guys some tips and just advice on what I think about some of these things. I think that if you can YouTube a product before you purchase it with your hard-earned money and you can learn something about it, that's just a great opportunity. I do it all the time. I know if I'm looking at buying a $65 eyeshadow palette, I'm definitely gonna look at what other people are saying before I go buy it. A lot of times, you know, I'll go on and I'll see, you know, maybe that's not for me or maybe it's not really what I need or maybe it just doesn't perform as great as I thought it would. But then again, I go on there and I see other people who rave about products I've never heard of before and those have become staples in my collection. So I definitely, definitely wanna help that I wanna get on and speak my mind and tell you what some of my thoughts are on a lot of these products. And yeah, I'm super excited and nervous at the same time because I'm like, am I any good at this? <sighs> Let's hope so. But I'll catch you on the next one and thank you guys for watching. Bye.